We've seen customized gadgets. We've seen the world's smallest desktop. Now it's time for me to show you what's cooking. Breaking away from the monotony in advertising, Dalmia Continental and Drizzling have launched India's first interactive video. It's called Cooking with Love. So let's see the video, the people and the idea behind it. An interactive video is something very simple. It's a video that you see on a platform like YouTube, a video sharing site, where you can decide the outcomes of what happens as next steps on that video based on whatever you choose. So it's a collection of videos that gives you choices. So every time you uh, make a choice, you see a different set of outcome. So it's basically user-led videos. It's not one standardized package. The first uh, most uh, active social media campaign was done by Burger King about 10 years back. It was called Subservient Chicken. Uh, that was the most active or most popular interactive video application that happened where uh, there was a like a flying chicken that you could ask them what to do and people would go and follow that, uh, those steps. So the product that we're dealing with is Hudson Canola Oil, uh, which is very new to India. Um, it's not a traditional product, so it deserved a non-traditional medium. The idea was simple. We wanted more and more women, who is the core target audience for this brand, to engage uh, with the kind of content we create. So we came up with this idea of this really clumsy guy who does not know his way around the kitchen to come and start cooking a dish. And the, reason, the idea behind this was to get more and more women uh, interested to guide him through the process. So it's something that our audience is very adept at, but the, uh, the protagonist in the video has no clue about. Uh, it's a series of 13 videos that connect to then create multiple outcomes of cooking a few dishes that users can in interact with. The interactive video is like a, one of those childhood storybooks where you can go to a different page to choose a different ending. That's exactly the concept behind the interactive video. So there are a couple of options that they can get. Uh, it depends on the choices that an individual makes and uh, that's, the, that's the journey that one takes. So they can decide ingredients, they can decide uh, uh, based on the kind of thing they want this person to cook. Uh, there are se sequences in which they're deciding how much salt to pour, how to chop vegetables. So based on that, you have four different outcomes uh, that will allow uh, people to have, uh, you know, four different dishes that have been practically cooked at the end of the video. And now for some Hudson canola oil. So making an interactive video requires like just like any normal video you would go through the process of scripting it but the difference was that you need to understand where the uh, stoppages are you know where, where you know the options are going to showcase for the people to interact with on when the video actually gets delivered and one of the challenges that we really faced was when we were shooting to really stick to the script because uh, you know what we had ideated and what eventually came out there was a little bit of discrepancies and, and those were some of the key challenges that we faced. So once we have done with the shooting, we, we, when we put it up on, uh, we went into post-production and we started putting it up on YouTube and uh, started placing it, that's when you know we, the real challenge came in in terms of stitching it together to kind of showcase that uh, you know the story comes out together uh, in, a, in a proper way for the consumer to understand. <laughs> Uh, we realized that uh, classical production teams were not ready or didn't understand how to make these short clips, how to thread these stories together. So we almost went through a round of having a, a video that, that was a very interesting piece but not interactive. And that's why when we used annotations, uh, we, gave an, uh, we gave an explanation, a little bit of a, uh, a story bite of sorts on the annotation so that the person could still kind of understand and, and see that what's the next step and why it's relevant for them to go through that storytelling process. So that was the process. It's been live for about a week and it's already got about 6,000 views. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, positive uh, responses on our Facebook page. The video is uh, almost the first thing that we're doing this year for Hudson Canola Oil but it's got um, a very positive response and we're very excited about it. Can we see seamless interactive videos from you anytime soon? Uh, definitely it's something that we want we are working on uh, it's an it's an exciting idea and it really depends on you know the kind of brief we, we've got but uh, we definitely believe in the power of interaction I think social media and digital gives us that power of interacting with consumers and uh, audiovisual is one of the most powerful means of communication.